So we're in the midst of the MLB playoffs at this point. And uh, we finished the wild card round. Um, Cleveland beat Tampa Bay. The Toronto Blue Jays blew an 8-1 to one run lead and lost to the Seattle Mariners. So now they're out. Uh, the Phillies beat the Cardinals. Shouts out to Albert Pujols. His career is over. Go down as one of the greatest uh, baseball players to ever live. One of the greatest sluggers to ever live. He currently, I think, or he ended his career with 703, I believe, uh, home runs. One of the greatest to ever do it. But Cardinals are out. But the, the, but the, the people I want to talk about is the New York Mets. Who made history? The New York Mets became the first team in MLB history to win 100 or more games and not make it out the first round or not make it out the wild card. In fact, they became the first team to win 100 or more games to not only make to to not make it out the first round and or make it out the wild card and only record one hit in the wild card round. Boy, <laughs> you talking about a massive failure of a season. You see, momentum is big, man. Momentum is important. It's not just a, a football thing. It's not just a basketball thing. Even though I do believe that basketball momentum, you can feel momentum at the moment. It's, you, you know, it, baseball, football, you can kind of feel it. Uh, like, for instance, for example. The Ravens. Let's go back. The Ravens game, Ravens against Cincinnati. Lamar Jackson threw a tough interception before the half. And you can feel the momentum kind of swing. Like, it's like, ah, damn, Lamar, that was that was a big one. Now, ultimately, the Ravens did come back and win. But you can kind of feel the momentum swing. But it didn't really affect the moment. Momentum in basketball, you can affect them. you. A team can go on a 14-0 run, and that's like, oh, damn, like the, the floodgates are open. Baseball, momentum is more game to game. And the, 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 the Mets did not have good momentum going to the game. I think when they lost the series to the Braves, you felt like, ah, this isn't, this isn't good. This isn't good. And you can't tell me that this is not a massive failure. Matt Scherzer, Jake DeGrom, uh, Lindor, Pete Alonzo. This team was stacked. Hell, a lot of people thought that this team was good enough, and they were good enough, and they are good enough, if you look just the roster, to win the World Series. They won 100 games. This is one of their best seasons they've ever had, if not the best regular season they've ever had. And they don't even make it out the wild card. Now, I will say shouts out to the Padres. I mean, you have Juan Soto. You have uh, Manny Machado. They're, they're pretty good. You have Thor. Mm. But they, man, they recorded one hit. One run. In the entire wild card. Man, the Mets. This is this is this this is epic fail. This is this will go down as one of the worst, one of the biggest um failures in 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 not just Mets history but league history. Not saying that you know I'm not trying to pile on, but again, this is the first team in MLB history to have a hundred or more wins and not even make it out the wild card. And what's even worse, they only recorded one run the entire wild card round. This team had a hundred and a hundred plus wins. I think it was like a hundred and one. Mm. That's crazy. Well, I guess it's always next year. <laughs> 